Not all makeup is edible, but yours can be. Today I'll show you 10 DIY makeup ideas that work like a dream, taste amazing and are perfect for pranks. Squeeze Candy is the perfect sweet treat for creating DIY makeup products, especially lip glosses. It comes in so many delicious flavors and colors, plus it looks super shiny, which is exactly what we need. Squeeze a small amount of this yummy glossiness in a little pot. For this one, I chose the strawberry flavor, which comes in a very light pinky red shade. But I want to make my lip gloss super red, so I decided to drip in a drop of red food coloring. Remember that little goes a long way here, so you really don't need much food coloring to make the color super vibrant. The last thing we have to do is to pour our deliciousness in a lip gloss container. You can use a bottle of an old gloss or you can buy these empty containers online for very cheap. Here it is, a beautiful, super shiny lip gloss which smells amazing and tastes even better. It will give your lips a beautiful glossy red tint, plus you can have it as a sweet little treat. I love how you can make this in all the possible colors. I also wanted to try the berry flavor. Here I squeezed the candy directly in the lip gloss bottle. To make the color brighter and more potent, I added a drop of blue food coloring. Mix it up or shake it a little bit and you get a gorgeous bright blue lip gloss. I can't get over how amazing this DIY is. Squeeze candy glosses are seriously the best and comparing to usual glosses, they're way more affordable. Check out how beautifully they work, so cool, right? Now our lips will always look pretty and shiny, plus we'll have a delicious sweet candy always on hand. Priceless. No worries, this bronzer is completely edible and delicious. Besides that, it will give your skin a beautiful sun-kissed glow. Get your container ready. I'm using a pot of an old bronzer that I washed thoroughly. Grab the only ingredient you will need and that is cocoa powder. All we gotta do is to place about a tablespoon of product into our container and pack it down really well. If you don't press the powder down super tight, you end up with more like a loose bronzing powder, which honestly works just as great. Cocoa is broadly used to make bronzers even by the well-known cosmetic brands. So why not make in our own for way cheaper, right? If you want to make a lighter color, you can mix in a bit of cornstarch. To get a super dark version, use a non-sweetened 100% cocoa powder. And this bronzer will keep us looking fresh and glowing as if we just came back from the vacation by the sea. Dust it on your face to warm up your complexion or make a delicious warming hot cocoa. And the beauty of edible DIY makeup. Little mints are a perfect pick-me-up treat when you want to feel a bit more fresh. Today we're transforming oh, them into yeah. a gorgeous lip scrub that looks exactly like a frozen arctic ocean. Pour a bunch of mints into a ziploc plastic bag. Place it on a wooden board or other sturdy surface and crush the mints into smaller pieces using a hammer. Pop a tablespoon or two of these crushed goodies into a container. Add a spoonful of sugar. I happen to have blue sugar at home, but the usual white one works just as great. Lastly, you wanna squeeze on a bit of honey or any other syrup. It's time to mix all of our scrub ingredients together and check out how beautiful this looks. Our mint scrub looks so icy and fresh, literally like the frozen arctic sea. Peppermint essential oil is widely used in plumping lip glosses as it makes your lips look fuller and more pouty. Your mint lip scrub will first off exfoliate your lips and remove oh, dead skin yeah. cells on surface, leaving lips soft and smooth. The peppermint found in the mints will plump up your lips, making them fuller and more voluminous. On top of that, your mint lip scrub is completely edible and tastes delicious. A complete lifesaver in situations when you need some extra freshness.
Did you know that you can make an amazing liquid eyeliner using just two ingredients that you can find in your kitchen? This wow. eyeliner is so affordable, works amazingly and you can make it in any color you want. Prepare your eyeliner container. I'm using this adorable owl pot which is from an old lip balm that I've used up. Load a teaspoon with coconut oil and pop it in your container. Now choose the food coloring you want to use, I decided for blue. It is really important that you use food coloring in a dust form because liquid or gel versions do not mix with oil. So dust food coloring is the way to go. Give the eyeliner a good start to combine the ingredients evenly. Voila, our two ingredient eyeliner is done, so it's time to test it out. <laughs> Look at that, it works like a dream. Now you know that next time you run out of eyeliner, there's no need to stress out. All you need to do is make a short trip to the kitchen and mix it up yourself. People say that you should never put stuff on your skin that you can't put in your mouth. Well, this eyeliner is 100% edible and there's no nasty ingredients whatsoever. Bingo! Is this a lip balm or a sweet potion? Well, actually it's both. And besides that, it's also a great idea to prank your friends. The main ingredient, honey. I love honey. It is sweet, but unlike plain sugar, it's also rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and has anti-inflammatory properties. I like to put it in my tea, on pancakes, or on my fruit. But today I'm gonna put it in my lip balm. Get your lip balm container ready. How gorgeous is this unicorn with its sparkly wings? Obsessed. Fill the pot with honey. You can totally finish here if you just need a clear lip balm, but you know me, I love color. I decided to keep it classic and dripped in a bit of red food coloring. One drop is more than enough, so let's give this baby a quick little stir. How quick and easy was that, right? We got ourselves an amazing moisturizing tinted lip balm in less than 30 seconds. Through the history, honey has been known for its healing properties due to how naturally moisturizing it is. Swiping a thin coat on your chapped lips will make them baby soft in no time. It's also high in antioxidants that help reduce prepare daily UV damage. On top of that, it tastes amazing, plus it gives our lips a shiny rosy color. Especially in the winter when our skin gets extra yeah. dry, this tinted lip balm is a must have. Meringues have always been one of my favorite sweet treats. They're light and crunchy, but once you put them in your mouth, they magically melt into this yummy, soft deliciousness. But you know what? Today I'll show you how to make an amazing highlighter out of meringues. Sounds crazy, I know, but just wait until you see it. Pop a few meringues in a Ziploc bag. Time to grab a hammer and crush them really well. This isn't hard to do at all because meringues are very fragile. You'll quickly end up with a very smooth white powder like this. If you feel like you still have some bigger chunks left, use a sifter to get rid of them. That's how you get the perfectly smooth and fine powder, which is exactly what we need for the highlighter. To make it really shiny and glowy, grab some metallic silver food coloring in a dust form. Depending on how much shine you want to get from your highlighter, put in a bit or a lot of this magical sparkly dust. Give it a good mix to allocate the silver dust evenly throughout the highlighter. Prepare the container where you want to store this sweet glowy dust. Last but not least, you want to pour in your powder highlight. You guys will be surprised by how great our meringue highlighter works. It makes your skin super shiny, but it doesn't feel weird or sticky at all. I like to apply it on the top of my cheekbones for some healthy glow and sparkle. It instantly makes you look more fresh and awake. But the best part is that besides being an epic makeup product, our highlighter is also a yummy sweet snack. You can have it directly from the box or dust it over pancakes, spice or fruit. Whatever you decide, make sure to do it in front of your friends and play a little prank on them. <laughs> They'll be so surprised seeing you eat a real highlighter. <laughs> You know those cool lollipops that color your tongue? Well, I got an idea. If they color your tongue, they should also color your lips. So I tried it and it works. If you rub the lollipop on your lips for a minute or two, they will get all colored up. Of course, this calls for only one thing. We gotta make a DIY tinted lollipop lipstick. Wow. 
For the packaging, it's best to go for something rounded like these pretty disco ball lip balms. Never throw away old lip balm containers, because you can always wash them and recycle in future DIY projects. Tinted lollipops come in a bunch of different colors. I decided to go for the most wearable one, which is red. Take some cutting pliers or just strong scissors and snip away the lollipop stick like that. Pop the lollipop into your container and if you like, you can even glue it down with some edible glue. If that's not the world's best lipstick, then I don't know. We can use it to make super cute, tinted and edible. But it's not just edible, it's actually super duper amazingly delicious. It will make your lips rosy and glossy, plus you can have a yummy sweet treat always on hand. You can even prank your friends with it. I'm sure they'll be so confused seeing you with this out of this world epic lipstick. Few things in this world are better than Nutella, am I right? I love to have it on my pancakes, a piece of bread or I even make a hot chocolate out of it. Although let's not lie, it probably tastes the most delicious straight from a jar. Anyway, today we're gonna use it for something quite different, we're making a Nutella lip scrub. Take a large spoonful of this yummy hazelnut spread and put it in a mixing bowl. Add a tablespoon of classic caster sugar which will serve as an exfoliant. The final ingredient is a coconut oil. You can skip it if you like, but it will make the scrub a bit more liquidy and and easier to use. Mix ingredients together and the world's most delicious lip exfoliant is pretty much done. Pour it in a jar or any other container where you wanna store it. This looks so delicious! I just wanna take a straw and have it as a drink! Since presentation is important, I decided to decorate my Nutella scrub jar with this orange bow. Ta-da! Now it looks even more irresistible. Use it to exfoliate your lips or make it as a gift for your friend. If your lips are usually super dry like mine, exfoliating will make a huge difference. Sugar grains will rub away all the dead skin cells while coconut oil provides moisture, leaving your lips soft and smooth. Last but not least, Nutella will make sure that the whole exfoliating experience is super enjoyable for you and your tummy. This scrub will keep your lips beautiful, plus it will give you a chance to have some delicious Nutella in a sticky way. What else is missing in our edible makeup bag? Hmm, mascara, of course. However, this mascara won't just make your lashes pretty, but also healthy as it promotes growth. It's like a mascara and lash serum in one. To make it, we will need some castor oil, which is super effective for thickening and regrowing the hair or lashes. Pour it into a little pot. Some people use plain castor oil as a clear mascara. When you apply the oil on the lashes, they instantly look nicer and more voluminous. But I decided to add some color and today I'm choosing black. Make sure to use food coloring in a powder form so it can mix well with oil. Give it a good old stir and our mascara is pretty much done. Pour it into an old mascara tube or a plain one that you can get online. How insanely easy it was to make a legit mascara that works great but also nourishes your lashes. Let's test it out. Whoa, this looks amazing, super natural but still makes a huge difference. The mascara is so smooth and easy to apply, so pampering for the lashes. You can even use the castor oil mascara on your eyebrows if you want to promote growth. Although this mascara may not be tasty for you to eat, it surely is tasty and nourishing to your lashes. I feel like Skittles are one of the most popular and beloved candies across the globe. In my DIY experiments video, I showed that the colored Skittles coating melts in the warm water. Check it out, the water turns red. So my guess is, since saliva is kind of like a warm water, the Skittles should color up the lips too, right? Let's try it and find out. To make a Skittles lipstick, you will need 4 Skittles and some edible glue. Apply some edible glue on the Skittle and apply another little Skittle on top. We're basically building a Skittle tower. You can use just one color of Skittles on your lipstick or make it rainbowy like me. I chose orange, blue, yellow and lastly a red one. To finish up, simply place the Skittles tower into an empty lipstick container and you're done. I love how cool this lipstick looks. So different from the usual yes. ones and so much more delicious. I think it's so awesome that when the Skittles are inside the tube, this literally looks like a normal lipstick. No one would have thought that there's actually yummy Skittles inside. And this makes it perfect for pranks. What a great DIY, especially if you want to enjoy Enjoy some yummy candy in a sneaky way. Surprise! I just created a new BBIP channel where I'll be uploading weekly compilations of my best DIYs, pranks and hacks. Make sure to subscribe because I'm already running to upload my first video. Okay, bye!